Kai Langford, congratulations with your win in the 1500 meter here, but I see you uh, touching your leg. What's wrong? Um, I, don't, I don't really know. I've hurt my quad. Um, it's been hurting in the last hour, so I've not really trained too much, so I'm not really too sure it's hurting before the race. So I don't really know what's up, but it's uh, quite hurting quite a bit. <laughs> Does it hurt seriously or is it okay? Um, it's just hurting for me to stand up at the moment, um, and that's it really. So, I don't really know, I've only just really felt it. Can you tell us about your race? Um, it was slow and it's really windy and I knew if I just held it with the 400 to go, I, I didn't even break a sweat really, I was just holding it and kicks when I needed to and that was all I really needed to do. You're the European Junior Champion in the 800 meter but you decided today to race in the 1500? Yeah, I mean, in the club I'm the fastest for the 4, the 8 and second for the 15 and Liam can't make it today, he would have been first choice and it would be more beneficial with the points for the team if I did the 15 so I took one for the team. What kind of reactions did you get to, uh, on your European title? Uh, I got some good reactions but my main goals were to make Beijing and, and that's what I made so I'm not happy with that. How did you do there? Um, I didn't make it for the heat but I mean when I'm 145 as a, under, as, as a 19 year old is, I mean, puts me third in the all time list for Britain so I mean, it's been a good year. Did you speak to Sebastian Coe? Uh, I've not really spoke to him yet, no, but Steve Crammy we do. Yeah. Did he, did, do you know what he's thinking about you and your performances? Um, I mean, no one really knows. My coach says I'm an unknown quantity, so there's a lot more left in the tank, so it'd be nice to see what I can finish up with next season. And now, uh, looking at this season, it has been a long season, and with some, well, with the World Championships in Beijing, with the European Championships, how is that to, to now, to go in a season such like this? Um, I knew from the start of the season, I had a massive year ahead, I had four championships, potentially, and so I stopped my season fairly late. So I didn't really get any fast races, all championship races, but you know, it's, it worked and you know, it'd be nice to finally get a nice break and work through the winter to get to Rio, so. This, uh, this, today is your last competition? Yeah, last one, last one. Will you do indoors next year? No, I'm not a fan of indoors, no. Get stronger through the winter. Thank you very much.